Neil, five changes to the side that will be in uh, over in Jersey. Outgo, Mason, Hollingsworth, Garside, Birch and Cox. Income, Graham, Williams, Betts, Allen and Ryan. Yeah, look, we, there's a couple of injuries in there that we um, we need to take account of. And, you know, obviously Sam Hollingsworth took a bad uh, head knock on the weekend. Luckily, he's OK. Um, and he's, uh, he's up and around and... and, and back out things so he'll be he'll be out for a little while now with that head knock um <clears throat> and look we you know we we didn't perform on the weekend and we need to make some changes we need to make sure that we got um uh, the best possible side out to, to go up against what is a very strong saracen side you know we were we um we felt we uh, let ourselves down a bit of the weekend we um didn't get our physicality right and against what's a very physical jersey side if you don't get that right then unfortunately that's what happens to you on the scoreboard so Look, we're going out this weekend to make sure we, we put a physical performance in against what are some of the world's best. And Tom Manns as well comes onto the bench on loan or dual reg from Leicester Tigers. Yeah, so Tom's come in really good for Leicester Tigers. They've um, released Tom. We've also got Dave Williams back this week who will play in the centre. Um, just gives us a little bit of extra depth when some of the other um, premiership clubs are on holiday this week, so some of those boys aren't available. Um, but look, we were looking to make a couple of changes anyway, so it's nice to welcome in someone, someone like Tom, who's got a big stature, and someone like Davey, who the fans know really well. Tough game as well coming up at the weekend, like you say, you're going to be coming up against some of the some of the world's best, and, and off the off the back of a tough defeat as well, it, it's going to be tough. But as you say, I'm sure Nottingham will, will go out and, and play that brand of rugby. Yeah, absolutely. And look, we're looking for a physical response. That's all we can ask of the boys this week that they go out and show who they are, um, show what we're all about. Um, and, and, and be physical, knock people over. And uh, look, there's nothing to lose on a scoreline, there's nothing to lose on a scoreboard. That's uh, that's for Saracens to worry about and catching Ealing in the league table. That's not for us to worry about. We just want to show everyone that uh, we are a physical side and we can physically um, do what we need to do. You know, there's a few boys there that are going to give us a reaction because they weren't there last weekend. They're going to go out there and they're going to give it their best this weekend and, and show everyone what they're about. Again, we, we just seem to, to put ourselves on repeat when we when we start talking about fans being in the ground. But I'm sure that, that when the, the fixtures were released at the start of the season, that this is the fixture fans would have probably have looked for. Yeah, yeah, they would do. They, you know, it's not often you get to get close to, to um, players that are that are playing at that next level that could be on British lines, tours, things like that. So it's not often you get close, and that's the unique thing about the Bay. You can be right up right up there in the atmosphere and. You know the players will come in and they'll have their food afterwards, and you know you get to rub shoulders with them. And it's a shame that the fans can't do that. Obviously, we understand why, and we're working through that. And you know, it's, it's fantastic news that the club has said we're going to have fans back for Bedford on um, <clears throat> Bedford for our second to last game, our last home game. You know that, that's cracking, and I can't wait to see everyone back down here. That was gonna. That was gonna be my next point. Things are really starting to change. I can come down and do a face-to-face -face interview with you. You've finally had a haircut. Yeah, not that you'd tell underneath the hat. <laughs> and fans can can return against Bedford in, in you know just just over three weeks. Yeah, no, no it's, it's so excited for that to happen. Um, you know, we played a jersey in front of a thousand fans on the weekend. They, you know, they're under different rules and laws with their government. And look, it was just so nice to have people in and around the pitch and and, and noise. Um, so look, we were so looking forward to that noise coming our way rather than against us, rather than the cowbells ringing and the boards getting banned by the jersey fans, but. You know, it, it, we're just, yeah, we're crying out for it, crying out to, to, to get this place buzzing again. I think Jersey really received um, a boost off, off the thousand fans that were in there. And we know that, you know, when we've got a full crowd in here, which hopefully we can get something close to, that it will give our players a boost as well. Yeah, 100%, 100%. You know, Jersey played their first five games away from home with the, with the restrictions on the island. Um, those restrictions were lifted for us um, and for the games going forward. So, yes, we, we, we just can't wait to have people back in here. It does give you a lift and it, it, it does create a great atmosphere for the boys. The closest they can get is watching on the stream this weekend. I'm, I'm sure there'll be, you know, quite a lot of people watching as well. So, you know, as well as the, the social media boycott that's going on in, in rugby and across all sports, uh, the live stream is the next best thing and, and really the only way that fans can watch the game this weekend. Yeah, 100 percent and, and, and look it'd be great to know that those, those figures are great next week and, and the people are supporting the boys. It's uh, it's always important to them.